Hello and welcome back to Lipper's Fun Flows Insight. I'm Jeff Turnahoy. For the weekend of May 23rd, 2012, the conventional mutual funds industry saw outflows of about $3.2 billion. Interestingly enough, it had nothing to do with money market funds this week. Let's take a look at those macro groups and see where the themes were. At the top, equity funds had about $2.4 billion in outflows. Taxable bond funds had a change of direction. This week they had outflows of $1.3 billion. Municipal debt funds continued their winning ways, taking in about $500 million. And money market funds saw next to zero in total flows this week. Well, equity fund investors sure had a lot on their minds to contend with. Well, with a possible uh, Greece exit from the euro, uh, equity markets have been kind of twisting in the wind as they search for direction. Equity funds, again, saw about $2.4 billion in outflows this week. We saw domestic funds with about $2.6 billion in outflows relative to non-domestic, which took in about $200 million. This is not a good sign for the industry. After last year's $94 billion net outflow from equity funds, we expected to see investors put a little more money to work in this area. So far this year, they've only dedicated about $3 billion in uh, net money. So instead of a big recovery, we're getting next to nothing instead. So it's going to be a tough time for the industry as these are generally their, your, your better margin products. Overall, though, uh, with uh, equity income funds taking in a couple, million, couple hundred million dollars this week, there are some strategies that are attracting attention. Multi-cap is another one. Uh, but on the other end, we see a few strategies that are continuing to bleed assets, that would be U.S. diversified equity funds. That, that group overall has seen significant outflows, and this week about $900 million from them. The rest of the industry, the, the, um, st um, some of the sector funds have not uh, done much in either direction anyway. So if we take a look now at the equity ETF side, there's a little more activity this week, some of it rather mixed. So the financial services Spider XLF had about $423 million in net new money. Spider SPY took in about 384, but at the other end, the Spider Energy XLE had outflows of about $1.1 billion in QQQ, followed with $480 million in outflows and the MSCI All Country Asia X Japan ETF, which is uh, AAXJ, had outflows of about $441 million. So a lot of mixed messages, mixed signals in the uh, ETF market as well. Let's turn our attention now to taxable bond funds. Here, again, things uh, turned a, a little differently for this group. We had about $1.3 billion in net outflows this week, their first outflows in the past 25 weeks. A lot of this comes on the heels of uh, some activity the week before when about $800 million was removed from JNK, the ETF uh, that's dedicated to the high yield junk bond market. Uh, this, I think, has spooked some retail investors. They withdrew significant money this week, about $1.6 billion from uh, high yield uh, uh, mutual funds. Uh, and this has caused the overall uh, tone in the uh, fixed income world to turn decidedly sour. Again, with about two point, uh, uh, sorry, about $1.3 billion in outflows, uh, we can see that investors are starting to question uh, a little bit, uh, at least at the margin, the investments they make in the taxable area. If we turn our attention now to the uh, fixed income ETF activity at the top of the leaderboard, we had uh, we, the uh, Treasury re related ETFs SHY and IEF uh, take in money this week. Uh, PIMCO's total return bond ETF, BOND, is still drawing assets this week, about $167 million. But at the other end, not only was JNK, but now HYG are attracting uh, some negative attention from investors. Altogether, these two ETFs had about $900 million in outflows. The next group we'll take a look at is municipal debt funds. Here, things are going uh, swimmingly uh, as they took in about $500 million. Investors are still uh, looking fondly upon uh, municipal debt funds. Uh, the biggest draw this week, of course, was the high yield municipal debt. They took in about $170 million. So things are still going well for the municipal bond market. We'll see how much longer that continues if uh, the taxable side starts to uh, earn some um, you know, sideways glances from investors. 
Now the last group we'll take a look at is money market funds. A virtual zero here on the board. We saw a slight inflow and outflow from uh, taxable and tax exempt money market funds, but really both of these uh, items were uh, well within the range of a uh, of, a, of an uh, of an uh, error in in the numbers. So uh, a rounding error, I should say. So uh, overall, we'd say that the uh, the market was very flat for money market funds, not going in, not going out. So overall this week, a rather mixed uh, review of the, uh, of the data within uh, the mutual funds industry. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more about the up-to-date stories, please join us online at lipperusfundflows.com or come back here next week and see another review of what transpired. Thank you.